Caitlin. Girl, let me see that ring. I know. Oh my gosh, I've been staring at it all day. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like, I just keep doing this with everything. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, bravo, mister. <laughs> well done, well done. Let's go to the very start of this. You just proposed, so walk us through the proposal. How did it all go down, mister? Yeah, so I had it all planned to actually propose in Cabo because Caitlin hasn't seen her mother in over a year and a half. So I figured what a perfect time to do it. That was until about a week ago, I did some research and I can have some custom issues bringing the ring over. And I'm like, how brutal would that be if I get pulled over at customs going to Mexico and they're going through the ring and she saw it before it all happened. So I made a quick adjustment uh -huh. and I was thinking, you know, like what's important to Caitlin? I knew that she wanted something intimate, not extravagant. And I knew she wanted something that was meaningful to her. And I think one thing that's very meaningful to her is just having precious moments with the people she loves. So one thing she's done before is she'll interview on her podcast, her dad, she won't release the podcast, but she'll have that audio recording uh, forever that she can keep. And she'll ask questions about his childhood and right. same with her mother. And then Caitlin told me about a week ago, she that she wishes so bad she had that with her grandmother. And so that's when I clicked. I'm like, how else can I get this audio forever and video, but still shock her? And so I worked with her manager and we set her up that she thought she was doing a podcast with me. We were in the studio. We never record video. So her manager said, hey, there could be this big opportunity with someone. So we're going to record. Caitlin was excited about it. And so when she said that, we're like, this is perfect. So Caitlin was interviewing me. And at the 30 minute mark, she went to go bring on her guests. Meanwhile, I'm like sweating bullets for that first 30 minutes trying to podcast. Like, of course you there. are. So she, the, the best part is she was supposed to bring on her guests. And that was, I had one thing memorized. Everything else I just kind of said from the heart. The one thing that I memorized was Caitlin, there is no guest. Well, she went to bring on the guest and I, I was like panicking uh, from like, and she's like, and I was like, where's the guest? Clea, Clea, where's the guest? Clea, where's the guest? And I'm like, Caitlin, Caitlin, and, she, and then went tell her what you said. Well, so he's like, Caitlin, Caitlin. And I was like, what? And then he was holding the microphone and he said, we're not doing a podcast. And I was like, you forgot to hit record, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what he meant. And he's yeah. like, no, this, this is something else. And he got up and I saw him grab a ring box from the drawer and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is happening right now. And then I was like trying to be so present but I was so overwhelmed and I was so embarrassed because I was wearing a shirt that said tequila for breakfast. And I was like, this feels very on brand, but also very inappropriate. <laughs> and then it, it worked out perfect where her family couldn't be here and our family spread all out and we're going to go see your mom, but we had all of our family scheduled to zoom in for five, 10 minutes, say congratulations. We could record that audio. And again, we'll have that forever to show our kids, grandkids. Such a precious moment, you know? And so Caitlin, how do you feel like he did? Oh, it was it was everything I could have asked for because <laughs> I really did think a Jason way of doing it would have been something extravagant and really big. And like, I, so I actually thought he was going to do it maybe in Mexico on the beach and I would have saw it coming. So I'd be like, whoa, okay. He asked me to go like horseback riding on the beach. This is when it's going to happen. <laughs> like the most obvious thing. But <laughs> I, I, yeah, I really wanted it to be intimate and just like, in in our home was perfect i was just i loved that it was just during our podcast we were having such good conversation yeah. too and like jason looked at me at one point and he was like your energy is unbelievable right now and i was like i'm just in such a good mood and i'm just loving this podcast and i didn't even know it was happening so um yeah the words that came out of his mouth were insanely beautiful mm. and i was just like We've never locked eyes like that in our lives. And we were just like holding hands so intense. And I was just trying to listen to every word and I still blacked out, but I can't wait to like listen back to it and see it all play back. Cause it was really special. That's amazing. So when are all your fans going to be able to listen in on this special moment or will they? Because you have been quite the open book when it comes to your relationship. I don't know. I haven't made a decision yet, but I do. I love sharing things with people. I need to, I need to watch it back first too. Cause like you said, I was like shaking and I was just well, staring at your eyes. I don't even. Before don't we even started the podcast, remember you were so, you kept fixing your hair and you were all nervous oh, about yeah. how you're sitting. And I was like, dude. You've been on camera down. before, You've remember been, you said that? Yeah, you're I was like, like you had no idea. You had Zero. no idea. 
zero, zero, zero. I wouldn't have been wearing a tequila t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> you, that's the best. And the best part is her manager was like, yeah, Jason's kind of dressing up for this. Like, do you like trying to get like, would you want to change? Like, no. Like, no, I'm good. Jason like, always dresses up, we're fine. I luckily got my nails done the day before, but I would like, these are some funky nails. <laughs> Obviously now you're engaged. It's Oh my gosh, when y'all gonna have kids? How many kids? So just oh, I know. It's, yeah. it's when are you gonna get engaged? Then when are you gonna get married? Then when are you gonna have kids? Then you have one, when's the next one? Are you gonna try for more? <laughs> it's, you know, you just gotta expect that. I mean, I'm guilty of asking people those questions. For me, I'm ready to go full speed. I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. Let's go. Jason, <laughs> okay, Papa. He's ready to get going. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be an engagement moon, baby. It might be. <laughs> Caitlin, do you think you're gonna be low-key bride or are you gonna be Bridezilla mama? I'm gonna be so low-key. I you I think say so? that <laughs> Jason. <laughs> now, you better watch out. Tread carefully. I know. That's true. You never know what you're gonna get with me. So I'm I don't know why you signed up for this for life because it's always a crash. <laughs> yeah, That's the exciting part. <laughs> yeah. Um, I honestly don't think I will because I've never like I don't know, I've never thought, I've never been the little girl who put the like pillowcase on her head and thought about her wedding day. And I don't have a specific way of how it looks. I'm just like, I'm more about the people who are there. But once we get going on it, I might change. I don't know. You'll have to come back and ask me later. <laughs> One thing we talked about last night, actually, though, there's obviously been a lot of bachelor weddings and we were thinking about our wedding parties and talking about it, we're like, I don't know that there will be one person from the franchise you in the party. You can't say that because what if there is? Oh. Uh-oh. Maybe there will be. Sorry, <laughs> Bachelor Nation. <laughs> no, there's there's a couple girls I think might be in mine. Okay. Now, what about Artem? Perhaps is he going to be teaching you your first dance as a newly wedded couple? That would be a really good idea. He should teach us a little waltz or something to do. I could use a lesson or two from Artem. I have got to ask you: Is the ring Neil Lane? <laughs> <laughs> the ring is not Le uh, Neil uh, Lane. Wow, I can't even say that. It is not Neil we Lane. We love Neil, though. Yeah, it is actually what's cool is it's a small business. It's a Canadian jeweler right outside of the town that uh, Caitlin was born in. It put so much effort into like even taking designs from Caitlin's dresses on like red carpets to see like what she likes and working like lace in because she wears a lot of lace. So on the side, they, they custom some lace and stuff to make it like a Caitlin and kind of like an edgy feel, but still like classic. And I love it, it was it was so special it's and they perfect. were awesome. Now, Jason, why did you not want to propose on The Bachelor Greatest Seasons ever? Because that could have been a possibility for you there. Yeah, I just think that for, for, for many like, reasons. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think that was like a recap on a, a, another chapter of her life, right? And that chapter uh, was one that has happened and one that is closed and uh, new chapters have started and it just seemed like it would have, uh, the timing wasn't right. It and didn't, I said, don't you dare. Right. And we were just kind of, you, we knew, we didn't want Did you it. really, Caitlin? Did you tell yeah. him? Did you even think about it? No, I said, don't you dare. I don't want like... Like he said, it was recapping where obviously at the end of the show, I have two people proposing yeah. to me at the end. And then so for him to come in and propose and that it was, it would have just been weird. And I was like, just yeah. don't do it. I want it to be very intimate, not not on TV. But honey, you know, we've seen that from The Bachelor. So, I mean, it's just like, you never know. You never it's know. Just and, I, and I love watching it. I, lo I would have loved to watch it, but I was like, you know what? I've been there, done that. Let's do it private. Yeah, this is yeah. different. No. So are you thinking that you're going to do your wedding privately? like? Have you thought about maybe televising it? I personally wouldn't want it televised. Really? No, no. Uh, I wouldn't. Would you? I don't, only because I love sharing. Like, I think, yeah. the so it would be like having, you know, all of your friends there without That's them fair. actually physically being there. But at the same time, again, I just feel like from being on television in such a setting like that, I feel like you appreciate the privacy a little more in the intimate, intimate moments. Yeah. Wrap on my finger like a ring the next season of The Bachelorette. So how are you feeling, Caitlin, though, about stepping in as a co-host during this time in The Bachelor Nation in the franchise? Yeah, you know, it was so interesting because for one thing, I didn't really know what my role was gonna be going into it. You know, we talked about being a mentor for Katie and just being there as like some female women support 
who have been in her position, who can guide her and help her when she's really struggling. Because I know all of us who have been in that position have wished that we had mm -hmm. that kind of support there with us. It was cool to be a part of this season because I saw a shift in things. I really saw people um, coming together in a different way that from when I was a part of the season, when I was the bachelorette, it felt like they were really trying to make a change. It felt like they were open to talking about change. It felt like they were really wanting to just evolve and and it felt different. I was a little scared to be a part of it just because, um, you know, everything that's going on and you wanna be part of the positive change. And when I was the bachelorette, I think I struggled a lot and I was a little nervous about going back into that. But I was really pleasantly surprised with how everyone was and what was happening behind the scenes. And it just felt like a really overall positive experience. It was fun. Jason got to be there for a small part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was really um, exciting to be a part of Katie's journey and, and be there as a support system to her. And that's just what it felt like. But yeah, I mean, I expected I, again, when the news came out and it said co-hosting, I was like, is that what I'm doing? Like what? <laughs> and I was like, I'm, I don't know. And so I, yeah, of course expected some people to be excited, some people to be upset. That's, mm. you know, I, that didn't surprise me. And I totally understand. Do you feel like it was much needed change for Bachelor Nation and for the show? I mean, what, it's been going on for 17 seasons, right? Well, it's, I mean, it's been 17 seasons of The Bachelorette and like what, 30 of The Bachelor. And I feel like one thing that they didn't do in the past is change much. They, you know, this this um, format worked for them and the show worked and it just kept going. And as the world changes and as people are being held accountable, the show has to change and evolve with those times as well. Um, and so that's why I was pretty excited to be a part of this season because I can see them making changes and being a part of that and stepping in and being like a female role in that was yeah. was really exciting. Getting to watch Caitlin and Tasha, like their chemistry is just oh, awesome. Was, you could yeah. see like their banter, their chemistry. It's so much fun. Yeah, it was it was fun to see from the sidelines. And y'all have lived it. So yeah. you know the, you know, the psyche of the girls and what's going on in the house and I know. I if it was like I felt like I was one of the producers just because I was like, I know what's happening here. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going on behind yeah. the scenes for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for everything. Congratulations. I love it. The yeah. engagement. I love the ring. The nails are great. And y'all have fun in Mexico. Jason, brush up on those dance skills in Mexico. Let's go. I'm going to get it going. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, we'll work on that. <laughs>